Okay, this lesson is to help us practice how to draw the eyes. Okay, do you notice anything with this eye? You will notice that it has different parts. You have the eyelid, the eyelashes. You also have sh values and shadows. You have um, the pupil. You have the iris. You also have a highlight there. And then you got to have the eyebrows. So keep in mind that the eye is covered by the eyelid. If you put the whole iris inside of the eye, then the eye will look shocked. So you want to make sure that it is not completely inside the eye. And how I like to do this is to think of the eye and the iris as the almond and the donut. So with the almond, that represents the shape of the eye. If you put the donut inside, then you'll see that parts of the donut is also outside of the almond shape. So you can still see that the iris is like the donut and then the eye itself is like the almond shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on practicing our eyes. What you do want to remember is that when you are drawing the eyes, you don't want to, when you're practicing, you don't want to draw them real small because then it's hard to, you know, practice everything that you need to practice. So you want to kind of make them um, a good size. So what I like to do is I like to also use my pencil as a measurement, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep in mind that you're going to make your eyes the same distance apart from each other and you want to do both eyes together. You don't want to do the one eye and then try to draw the other eye. You want to do them together, okay? So I'm going to start, first of all, by putting a line here. Okay, and I'm going to make them about this big, okay? Now, a rule of thumb is that your eyes need to be one eye distance apart. So what I mean by that is if you've got an eye here, pretend there's an eye here, and then that's where your second eye will go. Same distance apart. I measure with my pencil. So I put the tip of my pencil here, put my finger right there where the second line is, so the tip's on the first line, my finger's on the second line, I scoot it over, I hold it there, and then put my finger there to mark it, and then make my next line. That way these are about the same width, okay? Next thing you're going to do, now you want to do this these lines lightly, okay, so that you can erase and they don't leave marks, but it doesn't really matter. I guess right now because it is practice. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure that again with the tip of your pencil on the first line, finger on the second line, bring it over, mark it with your thumb, and then put your next line, okay? So these should be roughly the same distance apart. Okay, so you'll have three separate sections. They will all be the same size. This will be one eye, this will be the other eye, okay? So now you want to also keep in mind that you want to draw both eyes together. You don't want to draw one eye and put all the eyelashes and everything and then draw the other one. You want to try to draw them together and this will help to keep everything organized and uh, roughly the same size. So first thing I'm going to do that I'm going to remember is I'm going to put the almond shape, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, come over, like that, okay? And then put another piece of paper under here. Okay, here we go. Just making it too up. Now remember, you're gonna draw these lightly, so you can erase if you need to. And then I'm going to do the other one, the almond shape. Remember the, the round part of the almond goes to the outside. Like that, okay. Yeah. I have it more. 
more on my shape. Okay, that's okay, roughly about the same. Then make this one a little bit more almond. Okay, now the next thing you need to, to do, as I mentioned, you're going to put the donut. But remember, you don't want to put the donut just like this. You don't want to have it all inside. So you want to try to make the donut so that it is above. So let's go ahead and put the donut in here. Okay, like that. Now, if you want both your eyes looking one direction, then you'll make sure that they are, are pretty much look going the same direction. Now, I notice that this one looks like it's kind of going off this way. So I'm going to put this one a little bit closer to this area. And remember, the donut goes outside. And it's about the same, making sure that they're about the same size. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put in your pupils and keep in mind that your pupils go in the very center of the donut. Okay, so put them in the center of the donut. And then you're going to erase the donut on the outside. Once we have the pupil, then we will start working on the other parts of the eye. Now, don't forget that we have the pupil, the iris, and then we're also going to put eyelashes on here. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna go into the shading or values or not, um, but we'll just, you know, go with the over the basics, okay? So now we have that part done. Next, we're going to erase these lines that are besides the eye as well. So go ahead and erase those. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to darken up the top part of the eye. So just darken that up a bit because it always is darker than the bottom part. And if you need to fix anything, you know, like right here. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we will add a highlight. So it will make your eyes look shiny. You wanna make sure that your highlights are in the same spot on each eye, okay? So let's go ahead and put a highlight here. Okay, and if you have a little line going through the highlight, you can use your eraser and just erase that out. Okay. And then next we'll go ahead and darken in the pupil. Make sure that you don't darken inside the highlight. Okay. Okay, so at this point, you want to determine whether or not you want your eyes to be male or female. Okay, and usually females have longer eyelashes because they end up putting mascara on them and so forth, but it's completely up to you. Okay. Okay, you want to keep in mind that your eye is round, okay? So your eyes, your eyelashes will follow this, this direction and then they will follow this direction, okay? So when you start, this is the, the inside of your eye where the tear duct is and everything. Your, eye, your eyelashes will be smaller, but they will be curved towards the direction of the arrow. As you get more towards the center, then they will start straightening up. and then they will start curving the other direction. So that's an example right there. So let's go here for instance, and I'm gonna do this darker because I want you to be able to see. Okay, 
They get bigger as they go towards the center. And then they get even bigger, but they turn curve the other way as you get more towards the outside. Okay, so then they will curve that way. Okay, these curve this way. And then the other ones towards the end curve that way. And it's the same thing for, for the bottom lashes. You don't want to put a lot of bottom lashes, but they will curve in like this and then curve out. Okay. No, you can't really see it that well, but. Okay, all right, and then you'll do that to the other eye as well. All right, so now you have pretty much the gist of it. I'm gonna erase my hair rolls right here. Okay, so now let's draw the eyebrows. So a rule of thumb is to draw the eyebrows, you will go to the center of the eye, make a line going straight up, on both sides and this is where the eyebrows will start okay now for the eyebrows you don't want them too high but you you do want them high enough to where they're not like right down on top of your eye so I would just measure probably the same distance that you made your eye your um, eyelid as to where you will start with your eyebrow so let's go about, eh, about right there And then it will go up just like you did with the eyelid and then down now if you're drawing a male's eyebrows remember they're not going to be completely shaped like this you'll probably want to make them a lot rougher um, for instance for a males I would probably go like this to start with but then I would Probably make them like that because they're not as shapely as a, a girl's eye, eye brows are. Okay. So, and then I will come like this and then go down. But you can do your eyebrows however you want to. And as a matter of fact, I would, I would suggest that you look in a mirror and uh, draw your eyebrows the way you see them. When you're doing this but remember right now this is just practice okay and to draw them in to color them in let me do this again because i'm going to show you let's do this one over here um this one no let's let's go down a little bit i'm such a perfectionist sometimes so I'm gonna go like this. Okay. So and then when you do your eyebrows, you wanna do wisps of hair. So but just stay inside the lines and make it like wisps of hair. And then do the same thing. Now your wisp will go this way, this way. So they'll go up this way and then this will go this way okay so your wisps of hair will go the opposite direction okay and if you find that they're too high or they're too low you can always rearrange it <clears throat> to make it smaller or bigger or However you want to do it, okay? Thin those out. Okay, and then you can just erase these lines here. Okay. 
Okay, so for the nose, we'll go ahead and do that too. Um, just a rough draft of that. So you want, want to remember that when you're doing the nose, you don't want the nose to come right out of the eye. So you don't want it to come like this outside of the eye, okay? Because your nose doesn't come out, out of your that part of your eyes. It comes from here, if you'll notice. You take a look at your nose. Look at your nose and see how your nose goes up. And you'll feel it. And it goes up this road, this way. So if you touch your uh, your um, nose, you'll notice that it goes up this way towards your eyebrow, okay? So keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, and keep in mind that it will come down and it will go in and then it will come back out a little bit. Okay, and we're not going to go into drawing the nose right now, but you will do the same over here with the other side. It will come down, curve, and then go, go down. So it should go a little bit straighter down and curving right here. Okay. And then we'll get into how to do the nose later. The iris. To do the iris, you can make lines like this inside of the iris make sure not to go through your highlight but you're just putting a series of little lines and there is how you draw the eyes okay